bit further into my review of the last front engine Corvette, the C7 generation. Today I had the opportunity to do a review on that 2019 Chevy Corvette Grand Sport uh, with the 6.2 liter over at Werner Hyundai here in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, Werner Hyundai Genesis. Uh, shout out to Werner Hyundai Genesis for allowing me to, to get access to this unit. And also thank you to uh, Janir Etienne over there, one of the salesmen there. Thank you for always being there for me, man. I really, really, really appreciate you uh, for getting me these keys to these units and just letting me do my thing. I really, really appreciate it. Gratitude is my new attitude. But uh, in retrospect, I really, really enjoyed this review. It was a short review because I was kind of running late uh, this evening, early this evening, uh, to get to the dealership before they closed and all this and all that. I had some other things I had to take care of, but they still made time for me. So this video is to honor, once again, the last generation, the C7 Corvette, which is the last generation of the front engine rear wheel drive Corvettes ever. That is a big statement. We all know if you're in the car industry, car world like I am, the C8 is a uh, rear engine or mid engine uh, Corvette. So there is no longer going to be the big long hood with the big V8 up front and rear wheel drive. Uh, so what made the C7 generation so special? Let's dive into that. First thing that I can tell you about the C7 is that it had nearly a perfect, perfect balance, 50-50 weight distribution. How did they do that? What the C7 generation did, which is unique to them, is that instead of having a transmission that was mounted to the back of the engine, they actually had a transaxle in the back of the vehicle that was connected directly to the rear wheels, rear wheels, um, and then the drive shaft actually ran forward to the engine where most V8s have the, like I was saying earlier, have the transmission bolted into the back of the motor, then you have the drive shaft going to the rear wheels. So this gave this generation nearly a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. It's actually very special. What makes the Grand Sport even more special? Number one, you have a naturally aspirated, and when I say naturally aspirated, there's no supercharger, there's no turbo on it, V8, the 6.2 liter. Always been a great motor. So many modifications you can do to the 6.2 to get so much power. Everything's rolling. It's a full rolling motor. Um, if you don't understand what I mean by that, everything is spinning on the internal, okay? So that made it so much easier and moddable. It's such a moddable engine that you can do so much with a naturally aspirated engine. I love the 6.2. They put in many, many vehicles, Camaros. I've driven uh, Cadillac Escalades that were moving with that motor, as big as the Escalade is. So imagine what it would do in the Corvette. In the Grand Sport model, uh, naturally aspirated, it did zero to 60 in about 3.7, 3.8 uh, seconds. That is quick. That is quick, no matter what you look, no matter which way you look at it. So these were extra special. The Grand Sport was also very special, not only for its engine, but for its, um, the, the features that you got in it that were brought down from its bigger brother, the Z06, the ZR1. One of the bigger things that a lot of people like about the Grand Sport is the width of the body. They are very wide. They came with 335 tires in the rear. 335. That is a big tire to put down that power to the ground, right? And amongst that, other features, uh, like the one I had today, had a heads-up display in it. Right, and this is just a grand sport. This is not the Z06, this is not the ZR1. Of course, with the Z06 and the ZR1, you had the supercharged motors. Hats off to that. But if you're looking just for a naturally aspirated motor that put out a lot of power, the 62. All right, so I just like I said, I didn't get a chance to really say all this stuff in the video. Y'all check it out, it will be coming up here shortly. I just wanted to really 
it really means a lot for me to be able to do the final generation of the front engine rear wheel drive Corvette. We don't know if we'll ever see it again. So y'all check out this video. It's a short video just because of my time constraints, the dealership uh, closing and all that good stuff. And I was taking care of other things earlier in the day. So I got there kind of late um, handling business, grown folks business. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm just honored, like I said, to, to have these opportunities to do these car reviews and bring y'all this information. And hopefully y'all subscribe to my channel. Check out my website as well, www.jridereviews.com. Check out my Google business page. If you go on Google Chrome or regular Google and type in J-Ride Reviews, you'll see my business where you can uh, you know, check out pictures of uh, videos that I've done earlier on and a couple of little short videos as well. And it's just been a great run. I thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I kind of went over some of the features of this uh, vehicle kind of checked it out, exterior pictures, exterior video of it. And um, I'm just blessed, I'm honored to be able to do what I do when I put in my work in the daytime. We all know what we gotta talk about there and then be able to do what I love to do uh, after work, putting in that work after work. Like I said, in all my videos, I'm at the home front, sitting by my bar and uh, just enjoying you guys' company. And, uh, of course, watching a little bit of YouTube behind me, watching my stuff on YouTube. I don't know if y'all can see it. And just uh, enjoying. Uh, once again, hats off. Cheers to the uh, C7 generation. Nothing wrong with the C8s. We love the C8s as well. But the, the C7 generation and earlier will always be special. And I'm just super honored to be able to bring this video to you guys so y'all can check out this awesome C7 at Werner Hyundai Genesis. Very low miles as well, so cheers. Check out the video, stay tuned. I love you all. And, uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoy the video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to y'all. And like I said in all my videos, y'all be good. And if you ain't gonna be good, please be good at it. And I'm giving back to the community one video at a time. Salute, see you soon. What's going on? This is James with J Ryan Reviews. This is another epic review for my Corvette fans here in the Tallahassee area. Um, I'm over here at Werner Hyundai. Got an epic, 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 epic video for y'all today. Today we have a 2019 Corvette Grand Sport with the 6.2 in it. Y'all already know. Y'all already see it real quick. Check out the preview video that I just put together for you guys. So we basically, we're just gonna go over some of the features. This is a hot item here at the dealership. So I'm basically just gonna go around, check out the features, check out the interior, all that good stuff, and go from there. I know it's been a minute, I apologize for the gaps. Been grinding, doing some other stuff, but today, I got one for you. So y'all hang tight, don't go nowhere. <laughs> have the keys in your possession hop on up in this thing these things are nice by the way Kendall what up homie got another vet grand sport here buddy yes sir yes sir let's turn the AC down we're gonna go over some of the features the driving position low but really really nice as y'all can see the heads-up display I don't know if y'all can see it just a little bit right up there very nice touch man these interiors are nice yes sir so if it, first things first we're gonna go over some of the features uh check out the cold start you'll hear that i don't know where i'm gonna put it in the edit real quick i'm not sure either i'm gonna put it in the beginning 
when you watch it or maybe later on in the end of the video but anyway we're going i got a cold start for it so y'all check that out but anyway once again it's over at word of hyundai been at the day job yes sir grinding for real and uh now I'm back out here doing my thing so always a pleasure like shopping at Publix but anyway we're gonna go over some of the features and let's go from there first things first I like how the Corvette the newer Corvettes they put the smaller size uh, wheel in here I like that flat bottom R really easy to get your gauges here's your mile per hour over there tachometer right across the middle sport mode engaged and then you got your speedometer uh, digital speedometer there in the middle these Corvette gauges have always been so easy just to read. I mean, really, really easy. Paddle shifters behind that. This is the automatic. I can't remember if it's an eight or a 10 speed in this particular year. I can do that research. I have it down in the description. Oh, actually it says right there, eight speed on the, on the shifter. All right. So of course, you got your metal uh, gas and brake pedals as y'all can see down there. Foots on the brake, of course. Nice screen, nice size infotainment. Reverse camera, very good detail there. You got cameras to the front, to the back, you got the proximity. Uh, you got the prox projection here, which is the heads up display. Audio controls, this is touch screen. Quick, quick touch screen. You got your apps in there. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course. All that good stuff there. You got a spot here where you can get into the cameras. Right there. OnStar navigation, there you go, boom, boom, boom. Easy to read, everything is easy to read in here. I like the ergonomics in here. I love the, the hood up there, the bulge in the middle. Man, this thing just looks aerodynamic. So you got the manual air conditioning controls here, which you can always control up here in the screen as well. I like these touches here. The shifter, really, really nice touch. You got the eight speed and then right behind the shifter, as you can see the Grand Sport logo. And then you have different drive modes in here. Right now it's in Sport but you can just toggle through. You got sport, which it comes on automatic, which it changes up here. I'll let y'all see that. You see it down at the bottom down there. So the different drive modes, you got an eco mode, got a tour mode, got sport, turn it all the way to the right, and then traction or track, which turns off the traction, of course. You have an electronic parking brake that engages when it's in park, so that's a good touch there. Cup holders are bound. Plenty of storage, cigarette lighter. I like the little grab handle for your passengers when they think that you're crazy for getting on it. They trying to hold on. Ah, 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 slow down, slow down. Check ride, slow down. No, sir. This type of car has the power, so you got to get it. Anyway, I love the dash materials, high quality dash material, materials, materials, I'm about to say materials. And then you also have heated and ventilated seats, as y'all can see right here. And then you have your own air conditioning controls for the right side. Bose system. You can take the top off, of course. Very nice touches. This is the first time that I've been in a newer generation Corvette. Plenty of storage here. I mean, this great touches. The seats feel really, really good. Like I said, they're heated and cooled. Plenty of bolstering for us slim guys, big guys, whoever might be in this thing. Nice touch. Visibility actually behind is actually really, really good, as you can see back there. The mirrors are good size and aerodynamic as well. Smallish A pillars. A pillars are small. The B pillars are kind of big back here, but you know, this is a sports coupe. So what do you expect? You ain't gonna have the 110% great visibility in here. So anyway, like I said, um, I'm not gonna take this one for a drive. I know y'all gonna be mad. I have to respect the dealers that I deal with. Uh, as you know, Werner Hyundai and Genesis have been really, really good to me. Um, and so I respect when they say that, you know, serious inquiries only, and you know, uh, they don't want this one out on the road, you know, sports cars, not everybody can drive something with this much horsepower. Of course, J-Rod Reviews have driven stuff with way more, but I respect the dealers. They've been really, really good to me with all the other products, letting me drive them and do my thing with them. And I'm just blessed by the best, motivational minute. Take a negative to a positive, you know, of course I want to drive it, but like I said, let's take the negative from the positive. It's not really a negative because I can drive it. I'm still here. How many people can just hop in cars and do their thing at any dealer? I'm blessed to have my channel. I'm positive every day with my channel, with all the stuff that I'm doing. And um, I'm just blessed by the best why I settle for less. I got the camera turned the wrong way. But anyway, I'm here doing my thing, enjoying life. 
and uh, I pray that you guys are as well. Stay blessed, stay prayed up. God is good, God is great. He'll give you everything that you need on your plate. I love the shakiness of it. That 6.2 feels good, it sounds good. Check out the exhaust clip. Uh, I don't wanna put it in different places in the, in the video. And then of course, like I said, stay positive. And uh, you always gotta respect where you are and where you, no matter where you are in life. A lot of dealerships have rejected me for not even letting me come out there and do my thing at their lot so once again i'm thankful for my opportunity over here and i pray that you guys are thankful for something as well and i'm just in a vet just enjoying it so you know here's just a brief 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 look around in this vet i really love it very spacious love the driver position and i'm blessed and i hope you guys are too uh let's be blessed together let's be great together and uh, I'm about to wrap this one up. I got off uh, from the day job kind of later than I expected. They had a phone call that I had to deal with, but uh, this is part of life. So let's make these keys your keys. And if you guys are looking for this particular kind of video, look down in the description. I have exactly where it is and all that good stuff and my salesman contact over here. And we'll just go from there, man. Be blessed and highly favored. It's a short video. I got to get home. I got to take care of some other things, but I just wanted y'all to check it out. This is what it's like out here when you're grinding. Time is precious. Time is great. And be blessed the fact that you have time to do what you love to do. So anyway, once again, I'll show you this real quick as well. Um, you got your exit button here. You got two position memory seats, door locks right here. And these are electronic door handles and they also have a pull handle down here. If the battery ever goes out and the electronic part doesn't work and you're stuck in the car, just pull the handle up. That is not for the trunk, that is not for the hood. That is for getting in and out of the vehicle when the battery is disabled. So, Corvette, baby. Love it, I love it. I love in life, I love what I'm doing. Hopefully y'all guys check this video out. Uh, if you got a minute, please subscribe to the channel. Hashtag j -Rod Reviews on YouTube. Small channel, but I'm blessed by the best to be able to do what I love to do daily on demand uh check out the website www.jridereviews.com where you'll get exclusive pics and uh little preview videos of upcoming videos that i'm doing and then also check out my new google business uh page go on google type in hashtag jride reviews and you'll be able to see also uh, exclusive pictures on there my business information all that good stuff like that and uh, just keep grinding, man. You too, this is how we do, baby. God is good, God is great. Once again, he'll give you everything that you need on your plate. Be diligent, stay blessed, love thy neighbor. Gratitude is my new attitude. Y'all check me out, more epic videos to come. Right up here in the front, a beautiful, beautiful Werner Hyundai. Thank you again. Salute. So once again, I'm gonna give y'all one more quick look at it. You can't miss it, it's right here in front of the showroom. Boom. Check out the channel for more epic reviews. This will be on my Corvette playlist as well as a couple other playlists. I'm gonna try to stick it on so y'all can see it. And uh, just go from there, man. Be blessed.